Uh, welcome to Educated Bowlers. Sadly, this week, I'm all alone. Uh, I'd like to bring you up to date on a few things. We've gotten some emails. Um, I got one uh, an email about my my hair. I think it was from the same young ladies who emailed before when they had a problem with my hair and I got a haircut and uh, I'd just like to assure you again that I agree it is time for my haircut a haircut and so I'm gonna try to get that done ASAP uh, I'd like to bring you up to date on where everybody is uh, that rascal Tim Bame uh, Tim Bame, the one of the stars of our show, uh, couldn't be here this week. Uh, had to go to St. Louis. Not sure exactly why. Uh, something about picking up a package, whatever that means. Uh, Tim Bicey um, is in the Twin Cities for a few weeks. He's getting sort of some cutting edge treatment for his syphilis. Uh, it's really amazing the stuff that, that we're able to do now, nowadays. Uh, for instance, Bicey's, this treatment uh, takes the brain of brain matter of cadavers and they drill little holes in the skull in Bicey's skull and they have they've, they've taken this brain matter and frozen it and so they can bring it back to life essentially and they put it in, actually into the areas of Bicey's brain that are being eaten away by the syphilis uh, it's really a remarkable treatment, and uh, we're hoping that it that it does him some good. Um, so he's, you know, got a good excuse not to be here. Uh, did you know that, by the way, for those of you who are uh, trepanners, uh, into trepanation, you know what I'm talking about, but Trepanation is the the art of drilling holes in the skull. Uh, it's an ancient art. Uh, ancient uh, cultures understood early on that the skull basically doesn't have any nerves. Uh, you can have a brain surgery where they, you know, cut your your head open basically you might have seen in Hannibal. Uh, that was actually a, a realistic scene in some sense, in that uh, th there are no nerve, or very few nerve endings, and it's a painless thing to, to drill into the skull, thankfully for Bicey. Uh, so that's where Bicey is. Uh, Lupe has uh, taken a family vacation. Uh, he's gone to Maine with his family. Uh, and uh, he's just going to be relaxing and trying to, trying to get his edge back. Uh, we've been having some complaints via email that uh, Lupe has been losing his edge. He's become a little slower and a little... not as razor sharp as, as in the past. Uh, so hopefully this vacation will kind of recharge him. Um, who else? Dilly. Uh, the Dillio. Uh, Tom Dilly. Tom hasn't been on the show all summer because he's in Alaska fishing. And, uh, and, um, what else is he doing? Probably just not much. Lifting weights. Uh, he reads a lot, uh, he's big into, uh, 
antique doll houses, and the summer is his time to to uh, tend to his the various antique doll houses that he has. He gets new furniture sometimes for them, stuff like that. Um, anyway, we're thinking of doing a show on on Dilly's. Uh, excuse me. Doing a show on Dilly's uh, hobby. <sighs> um, Dilly, uh, who else? Um, that's probably all you're really wondering about. Some of the other characters. Uh, are around, but I, I just wanted to do this show uh, tonight. I wanted to introduce a couple... That's probably all you're really wondering about. Some of the other characters uh, are around, but I, I just wanted to do this show uh, tonight. I wanted to introduce a couple of new characters. Um, I believe that none of the shows that we've done so far has, uh, uh, I, as far as I can remember, we've, n we've not done a show w with a giraffe and a cheetah, um, interacting mentally. Uh, so that's what I'd like to do tonight, uh, is to bring you a show which has a, a giraffe, a baby giraffe, and a cheetah interacting, uh, and, you know, remind you to just keep those emails coming, Chuff Flavors, Chuff, C-H-U-F-F-L-A-V-E-R-S, C-H-U-F-F, Chuff, Flavors, L-A-V-E-R-S, at Hotmail. Dot com. We're probably going to come up with a new address soon because Hotmail now is changing some of their policies and having to do with POP retrieval, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, that's just not something that, that we're cool with. So uh, we're probably going to change that soon. Probably going to change a number of things soon. We've gotten a lot of commentary of late about Tim Bame, and um, there seems to be, at least from the people we're hearing from, a desire to have a little less of uh, me and Bicey, particularly, and a little more of Tim Bame uh, on camera, a little more, to get a little more insight into his... Um, uh, what would you say, uh, spirit, uh, no. so, I think that's about it. Um, educated bowlers on at midnights, Thursdays, Channel 8 and Charter. Not sure what it is on McLeod, but uh, our season's really going to pick up. Uh, in a few weeks, I think we'll, when bowling starts again, uh, the and everyone Bicey's back from the hospital, and um, Bame is back with his package, and uh, Lupe is back recharged after the family vacation. Uh, Dilly's back 
from his um, working on his doll houses. Uh, we'll probably, you know, I think the, the thing's going to come alive at that point. It's not to say that, that these summer shows aren't good, but, you know, these kind of middle of the summer shows, non, you know, these shows where, where we're not actually bowling in league, um, you know, these shows have their own charm, I won't deny that. Uh, I'm sure you won't deny that. Uh, but, you know, I really would argue that nothing in the end is going to compare to that, that quick banter when, you know, you have the lightning quick reflex, mental reflexes of Bame and Bicey and Lupe and myself and Dilly just lighten up the screen, you know, with just, just so much mind-boggling information and, and, and really what's more important, um, a sense of, of, of how information uh, uh, and the processes which form information uh, uh, can, can be relevant to the body. And when I say the body, uh, I don't mean Jesse Ventura. Uh, I'm talking about the in the sense of to a body would probably be better. Uh, but I say the because we all basically have, uh, uh, well, to males and females, let's say, because, and, and hermaphrodites and, and eunuchs, um, to bodies, any body. Uh, but, but the, you know, human bodies are differ. A male is radically different than a female, and yet we are the same species. And, and so, you know, there are those things that tie us together. Um, and, uh, and, and so that's what it's really about. You know, that's what I'm talking about, the, when the bowling league is on and you get to see in the background the beautiful bowlers of Marshall. Um, and they are. I, I promise you that that this year will be no less beautiful than last year. Uh, apparently, Jerry, the, the um, uh, janitor from from uh, SSU, bowls on one of the better teams, may be leaving town. Uh, but you know, we've had people leave, and and amazingly. Uh, these spots get filled, and the, the, they're filled by uh, people who are no less beautiful. Uh, and so you're going to have that in the background, and you're going to have the, the lightning quick exchange of, of attitudes. And when I say attitudes, I don't mean something trivial or easy. Um, attitudes are, are only ever truly achieved, I believe, when information and a sense of what the, the actual processes we're immersed in uh, are. Um, and and uh, when, when we have that, that's, that's when we have attitudes. That's when we have, or as Bain would put it, tood. Uh, oh, God! So without further ado, uh, I'd like to, to, to get to the um, baby giraffe and the cheetah. Welcome to Educated Bowlers and enjoy the show. <laughs> 